today is the day that Anthony and I are going to be leaving our apartment officially. It's kind of bittersweet, but we're mostly just exhausted right now because moving is a pain in the butt and not everything fit in the U-Haul. So we've been having to take things to Goodwill and luckily we've had my sister's friend Nick helping us out and um, it's just, it's been a lot. As you can see, like everything's pretty, ooh, exposed. Everything's pretty empty. <laughs> um, <laughs> And yeah, it's just really weird to see everything like that. Brianna is here helping. Where'd you guys go? Nowhere. Oh, you guys haven't left yet? No. Oh, I thought they were left to Goodwill already. Yay! Now we can put more stuff in their truck. All right. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so right now I'm actually at church um, in the nursery. I had a mural to finish. It's right there. It's all done now. Procrastination at its finest last minute and it is done. <laughs> um, we had so much stuff that we had to go take to Goodwill. It was insane. Like mm, a whole truck full, a whole truck bed and cab full of stuff. So shout out to Nick. Thank you so much because without you, I do not know what we would have done. Um, oh, and my right is here. Talk to you me. Oh my goodness. This crazy wolf does not know how to not pull. Does the harness make it easier on you at all? Or? I mean, he pulls less. Believe it or not. Chill. Chill. <laughs> oh my goodness. You gotta work on that, huh? Okay. Good morning, everybody. So, right. <laughs> noticed your head it kind of sticks out at the top yeah well. <laughs> that's kind of cool though for like rain and stuff <coughs> squirrel anyways so right now we're leaving sacramento it's um just before 6 30 and today is like the first official day of a long drive our goal is to make it somewhere in idaho so we'll see how this goes we got our pup in the back with miss auntie nana back there <laughs> and um it's still pretty dark out. My floof came for a visit. Do you like to drive, Bobas? Is this a good drive? No. <laughs> You're not my floof. Oh, he's got the big yards. You better go I thought they were just as heavy. What? He's not your floof, but they're just as heavy. <laughs> Look at the pair. No, they're so cute. time in the snow? Mm -hmm. Is this your first time in the snow? Yeah? Let's see how you okay. do. You ready, Bobus? What is that? Come here. What is that, Bobus? <laughs> what is that? Good boy, we're still over here. You gonna go potty? Oh 
My hands are like shaking. Wow, wow, wow. This is so cool. He likes the snow. <laughs> we have to get um, chains put on our tires right now for the truck and trailer, which is really expensive. It's like over two hundred dollars. And then we have to get the stuff so that our wiper fluid doesn't freeze. Um, yeah, that was Bob's very first time in the snow. I'm gonna record him more playing in the snow as we drive because he really <laughs> liked it. It was so cute. Huh, Bubba's? <laughs> Did you like the snow? Did you like this so though? He's by all the people out there. Mm -hmm. He's like, what is going on? <laughs> There's so many people, humble boys. made it to Nevada. Super exciting. I've never been to Nevada before and I'm just looking at mountains right now but still makes me happy because I'm a California girl that's barely even been to Oregon so yes Nevada. <laughs> Are you excited babe? Have you been to Nevada before? Oh you have? Yep. When? I oh. lived there with Teresa. I forgot you told and me that. I've actually. also played rugby out here in Nevada a few times. Well, it's not going to kill my buzz. I'm excited. Um, we had to get our snow chains on. And they made us pull off, even though we have like four-wheel drive and everything. They made us pull off, get the chains at this gas station that was like impossible nearly to get in and out of and on top of that the chains were marked so high we paid like $360 for the um, chains for the truck and the U-Haul so that was expensive and then like 30 minutes later there's a sign on the road that says chains off so we had to get out and take them off and <laughs> well Brianna and Anthony got out and took them off and I navigated the vehicle um, but yeah, that has been our experience thus far. I will update you guys as we encounter more exciting things, hopefully. Nevada. <laughs> Not stopping or doing anything exciting, but I thought that I'd share. It's pretty cool. Hey guys, right now we're at the gas station in Nevada. Just look at that view, it's insane. It's so exciting to be traveling and finally just getting out of California and exploring a bit. So I'm glad to be able to share all of this with you guys. We're not really stopping at places to like explore. Coda is like wanting to run around right now. Um, hey, you be a good boy, you stop that. We're not really stopping at places to explore. We're just kind of going straight through, trying to get where we're going. Um, our truck actually has a code up for the transmission so it's been kind of a leap of faith driving it around um, but it's been doing good and God's providing I don't know why I'm standing that way when I could be standing this way so you could see all that <laughs> but yeah I guess I will keep updating you okay look how cute they are she's asleep Does it make you nervous about the having more snow down the road? 
Yeah, I don't want to have to put on chains because that just added so much time. Like, yeah, that was annoying. <laughs> Two saves at least. Thirty minutes to go. Like, we got it though. We got it. We'll figure it out. Right? So, we have five hours till we're supposed to be in Idaho Falls. This guy, he's been a trooper, he won't let me drive. <laughs> he's been driving this whole way. It's been a long, long drive for us both. Well, for him and then, you know, just everybody in the car. Hopefully we make good time. I wish that we could do the rest of our trip in just one more day, but it's gonna be like over 13 hours and that's just kind of doing too much. So I think we'll probably stay two nights in hotels and then get there by the third day. That's the goal at least, so we'll see. So right now we're passing a prison, the second prison that we passed in Nevada. And we're about to go through a really cool, creepy tunnel. It's actually National Guard, not a prison. Sorry, National Guard. JK. Now we are in uh, in or near Elko, Nevada, um, getting some jack-in-the-box. Um, <laughs> I'm taking, hope, hoping Coda will go to the bathroom too. He's been seriously so good this entire time and it totally surprised me because he normally doesn't like car rides very much. So he's been sleeping and, oh, and pulling now. <laughs> It's your fault, babe. <laughs> Our little Cali to ND sign. I will You love your daddy, huh? Oh, and me too. <laughs> Everything looking good? Oh, can you fix Koto's leash, baby? Fix it. Oh, better. Can you go pee? Everything's looking pretty good. Truck's looking pretty gnarly. I don't even <laughs> want to try to look back there, though. Oh. <laughs> Babe, do you think my plant is alive? Yeah, it's alive. It's probably not happy, though. Uh, of course, me. Yeah, whatever. We all just got done eating our Jack in the Box. We're on our way to Idaho Falls still. That's the plan. We're gonna be driving while it's kind of dark, so I mean, worst case scenario, we stop a little bit sooner, but everything's going pretty smoothly right now. What's your guys' favorite thing about our trip so far? <clears throat> oh, us? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess the views. What about you, Brie? Lay with the ball. No, you. Him just so cute. Woofer. Woofer. What's your favorite thing? What's your favorite thing, Coda? Trina's giving me treats. He says I, I love the treats. I think, ooh. <laughs> I think my favorite thing is probably the views, too. And just getting to it. Copier. <laughs> Real original. Anyways, <laughs> and just getting to explore different places because I haven't really been anywhere. When I was a baby, my parents took me to Nebraska, but I was a baby, so I don't remember that. And I've been to Oregon a little bit, but other than that, this is it. So um, now I can check Nevada off the places that I've been, and yeah, soon it'll be Idaho, Montana, and then of course North Dakota. We want to go to um, South Dakota. 
really bad and go see Mount Rushmore. This is going to be one of the first trips that him and I take together. Um, take Dakota, our dog, and just go on a little mini vacation with them. That'll be pretty fun. <laughs> 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 okay, so why are we moving to North Dakota? You already said financial. Well, I have to redo it now because I have to stop the video. You can't video. just edit? Oh my gosh, editing is a little bit more complicated than you seem to think it is, okay? Okay. I'm just saying. Okay. moving north to North Dakota because I've never sledded or anything intensely and I really want to sled. Yes, and um, <laughs> also... Houses are cheap. So, financial we'll buy, reasons. We'll buy a lodge out there and, and set up a ski resort for all you Californians that need to go out there. I think he's a little delirious. He's been driving for a really <laughs> long time. <laughs> So maybe I'll just talk, and if he has something to add, then he can add. Thank you. Like something Not about good. snowmen or. Oh, I love snowmen. Yeah. I can't wait to snowball build that. fights. And, and I don't igloos. Do you want to go snowman? Of course I do. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're editing that out. No, I'm not. Editing it out. No, I'm not. Everybody's life is on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, basically, long story short, my I have family in the Minnesota, um, Minnesota. North Dakota area. Minnesota. Minnesota. <clears throat> I have Minnesota family. Minnesota and North Dakota. Yes, I have family in that area, and um, my mom and stepdad went out to visit there Ancestor. last year sometime. Ancestor, yes, she went to. Um, they all went out there, they visited, my mom and stepdad decided well, we're moving out there and they suggested the idea to us and at first we were like, you're Psych. crazy, we're not moving to North freaking Dakota, like that's really crazy. And then we were just like, I don't know, it was kind of like lingering on me, I guess. Um, I mean obviously my mom moving away would be a really big deal, so you know, it did sit with me kind of weird, but I just was telling Anthony, I was like, I love California like I can't imagine ever leaving here and then he was like me either you know at first he was kind of like there's no way even if I did move somewhere it wouldn't be North Dakota and then we sat down and then we started looking at houses and then his attitude just kind of changed and did a total 180 to like well I think let's just do it like let's just make a change let's go for it and it was kind of like it felt a little bit crazy but we decided at that point that since we he was feeling a little more comfortable with it which honestly instantly kind of changed my vibes about it we decided we would pray about it for a little bit and we we started praying about it but even as we were praying about it it felt like things were just falling t into place as we were praying about it and you know all the way up until right now even like things have just been working out literally on our drive there we got the confirmation that we are able to get our apartment. So we got our apartment and that was super awesome. And, um, and some of the main reasons why we decided to do this, aside from it just feeling right, is finances. Um, we have this idea of the kind of life that we want to live together and it's really, really hard to achieve that in California. And when we were looking at, what? Oh, there's a person that's just like, off-road maybe that is a road oh yeah, oh yeah it looks like it is a road JK <laughs> that was so weird confused. yeah that looked really strange what was I saying oh yeah so we were researching Fargo North Dakota which is where we're moving to and um, the economy there is really really good right now like so many jobs are paying over $15 an hour to start which is awesome even in California it's hard to find a job that's not paying minimum and on top of the jobs that are paying well, there's a ton of jobs, a ton of housing, and housing is really cheap. And Fargo is a pretty good community from what I've read. We've never actually been there, so this is like a whole 
adventure, a whole new world for both of us. Like we've never been to this part of the United States before. So, you know, we just, we're looking at this as a life experience, just an adventure, something for us to um, look back on one day and just reminisce. Like it might not be our forever place to live, I kind of don't feel like it's going to be our forever place to live, but I just have this really strong gut feeling, and I know he does too, that this is where we're supposed to be now. Do you agree with all that, or do you have anything else to add? Yeah, I just, I don't feel like it's a gut feeling, more or less, like, at first we weren't really thinking that this was the right move, mm -hmm. but more and more that we prayed about it, the more and more things just started to fall into place. And uh, that's when I was like, really just like, okay, like, let's just do this. Like, you know, God is working all this stuff out for us to be able to do this. Yeah. Um, so it just made like the choice kind of easy. It's just, you know, leaving your family behind and stuff makes it hard. Yeah, leaving everybody behind was really hard. There's a lot of people in California that we are going to miss desperately. This is Will Angel being one of them. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but we're going to come back and we're keeping our fingers crossed that Anthony gets the job that he really wants because it will give him a lot of time to take some trips and that's what we're planning on. So we'll keep you updated. See you in the next clip or something. Peace out, home skillet. Peace out. I don't got this vlogging thing down. Out. Wah, 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 wah. Drop. North hey. Dakota swag, don't you know? <laughs>